Okay, all right. So we'll now continue um, to our biochemical testing. As in, guys, I think we're halfway now, pero marami pa talaga. So brace yourselves, kaya pa yan. Okay, all right. So for the next test, we have what we call the mug test or the 4-methyl ambelafiril beta d glucuronide test. Okay, now please take note. You detect the enzyme beta glucuronidase. Don't be confused with the ONPG. Beta galactosidase to. Kani, it's beta glucuronidase. Okay? Alright. So, ang principal. So, ang ato ang uh, substrate, which is 4-methyl umbelafiril beta D uh, glucuronide, um, which is found in a disc. So, na siya sa impregnated in a disc. In the presence of the enzyme beta glucuronidase, it becomes a 4-methyl umbelafiril mo moiety. Okay? Moiety. Okay? Alright. And this emits a uh, blue fluorescence. Okay? So, ang positive niya is blue Fluorescence. So here's an example. Okay. So the positive there is, of course, ang left. This is blue, guys. Ayo kani. This is just not color blue. Parang white <laughs> or what. But ang left is positive. And the negative is the right, which is very characteristic. A characteristic of E. coli O157H7. True enough, the mug test is a very important test for for E. coli O157H7. Because the other serotypes, okay, other serotypes of E. coli or other uh, yeah, other strains of E. coli are positive with the MUG test or MUG test. So, ang negative ragyod ng E. coli serotype uh, for the MUG test is E. coli O157H7. So, very, very important. Asa gani na ako na mention ni siya sa sorbitol makonki, di ba? Dilipun siya mo ferment og sorbitol. So, if E. coli gani, E. coli O157H7, uh, okay, or your entero uh, hemorrhagic, okay, entero hemorrhagic E. coli okay unsa yung mga tests very characteristic you have sorbitol okay negative and mug negative ayan E. coli O157H7 enterohemorrhagic E. coli sorbitol neg di ba di siya mo ferment og sorbitol that's why sa SMAC it is colorless yung mga colonies okay and for mug test another one it's negative okay all right ayan and sa mag test again, siya ay serotype sa E. coli na negative. So, of course, it's very um, specific ni E. coli O157H7. Okay. Alright. Next one, we have the SIM. Ayan. So, we have mentioned already SIM sa atong culture media prep, di ba? And SIM, unsa siya na type of medium? A eh? semi-solid. Okay? So, it's a culture medium uh, that supports three tests. So, three in one na siya. Diba? Pinakape. Yes. <laughs> so, um, SIM. So, S, we'll, uh, we'll start first with the first one, S, which is? Uh, which stands for sulfide or sulfide production. Okay. So again, a purpose, and I, you, you detect the presence or the ability of the organism to produce the hydrogen sulfide gas. Okay. Now, again, <coughs> okay. All right. So sodium thiosulfate, um, this is the source sa organism para produce siya H2S. Now, H2S in itself is a gas. So sa medium itself, dili siya makita. Okay. That's why naatay ferric ammonium citrate, which combines with H2S, to form a precipitate known as your ferrous sulfide. And this is now what we see, okay, as a black precipitate. Okay? Alright, so again, sodium thiosulfate ang source sa imuhang iron or sa imuhang uh, hydrogen sulfide na gas, okay, na i-metabolize sa bacteria para maproduce ang H2S na gas. Now, H2S gas in itself, diligid siya makita sa medium, okay? That's why we add a ferric ammonium citrate para makita siya or para ma-manifest siya, okay? So the ferric ammonium citrate, it combines with H2S to form ferrous sulfide. And this is what we see now in the medium as a black precipitate. So therefore, positive siya for H2S if it's uh, blackening of the medium, all right, or black precipitate, okay? All right, ayan. So again, positive, black precipitate, ang um, um, sulfide production, okay? And, uh, and these are your sulfide... Uh, or H2S producers, you have, uh, we have the mnemonic, spaced. Okay, gusto ko ng spaced. Okay, charot. Ayan, spaced. Okay, S for salmonella, P for proteus, A for Arizona, okay, but it's now under salmonella. Okay, citrobacter, E, it stands for Edward Shella. Okay, so, very uh, characteristic yun na siya. And a very common yun, salmonella, guys, it really produces H2S. So, uh, muna siya, appeal siya sa spaced. Okay, so kinsa itong mga H2S producers, spaced na IED para ma-guide mo na it's Edward Shella. Okay, so again, Salmonella Proteus, Arizona, which is now under Salmonella, uh, Citrobacter, Edward Shella, and 
Uh, ah, tama. Edward siya lang tama. Okay. So again, spaced. These are your H2S producers. Okay. Now, we now go to the letter I for SIM, which, is, uh, which stands for indole. Okay. Now, indole test. Uh, again, the purpose, we detect the presence of the enzyme tryptophanes. Okay. And the reagent is known as your PDAB or DMAB, P-dimethylaminobenzaldehyde. Okay, or also known as your COVAX or Ehrlich's reagent. Okay, all right. So, principal tryptophan in the presence of tryptophanes releases indole, pyruvic acid, and ammonia. Indole plus the PDAB produces a uh, dye, tri triaryl methane dye, which is color red. Okay, so therefore, atong positive result is again the red color. PDAB again stands for P-dimethylaminobenzaldehyde which is contained in either COVAX or Ehrlich's reagent. So for indole testing, we use either COVAX or Ehrlich's reagent. Okay? And ang composition ana is PDAB, P-dimethyl amino uh, benzaldehyde. Okay. All right. And for napoy rapid spot indole test, P-dimethyl amino cinnamaldehyde, which is color blue naman. Kaning kaning PDAB it's tube method ni siya. Ang kaning rapid or spot indole katong disc type. Okay, so for tube method sa indole, ang reagent nato is PDAB, and ang positive result is red. Whereas for spot indole, P dimethyl amino sinamaldehyde, sinamaldehyde, pero ang positive niya is color blue. Okay, all right, ayan. So here's an example, ayan. So of course, red ring, that's a positive result for PDAB. Okay, and negative for red ring ni retain ang color um, rag yellow. All right, and then for spot indole, of course, positive ta kay P dimethyl. Amino sinamaldehyde. Ang positive is color blue. Negative is wala. Wala any eh, wala color. Or night color but delete siya blue. Okay? Alright. Ayan. That's for the letter I of SIM. And last is of course mut... Uh, I joke, sorry. <laughs> Ang mga indole positive din organisms. Ayan. So we have Morganella, Protus vulgaris, E. coli, Providentia, Edward Shalatarda, Cleb Shalat Oxitoca, and Plesiomonas. So, Ang mnemonics, and it's really like bastos. Okay, so M. Yeah. So, my, my, did I not mention? My kapo, or like my PEPE -E -E kapo, or my papa. Na yuban my papa kapo, para wholesome. Okay, alright, but this is what we, this is what I use, my kapo. Okay, so Morganella, Protus vulgaris, E. coli. Providencia, Edward Shella Tarda, Cleb Shella, Oxitoca, and Plesiomonas. So, my, my PEPE kapo. <laughs> okay. This is like, like a question mark. <laughs> okay, alright. My, or my papa kapo, my PEPE kapo. Okay. Alright, so again, those are your indole positive na organisms. Okay. Please take note, kana kung specific yun ang species for Proteus and Cleb Shella. We'll know later sa ilang imvic. Okay, alright. <laughs> Okay, and last letter M of your SIM is motility. Okay, so again, ikapila na ni mo gas gas na gas gas na ni sa atong discussion. So good pa lang about motility. Again, we determine if the organism is able to move or not using flagella. Because again, ang principle nato is pag stab nato sa SIM, the flagellated organisms, or if they are motile, they move away from the point of inoculation or from the stab line. So as you can see, ang positive again, there is a uh, diffuse growth. Di ba, na ay blurred up, uh, growth kilid sa stab line because again, it follows the principle that the organism moved away, okay, or swam away from the point of inoculation. Whereas, kanisha negative because again, the growth is on or along the stab line lang. Wala yung growth outside of it. Meaning, wala ni move away from the stab line ng organism because wala siya flagella. So, non-motile. Okay. Alright. Ayan. So, now we go now to what we call your um, the other tests for. Usually, they have the same. They have the same positive result, good, and um, and it detects the presence or the ability of organism to utilize parin sugar in different pathways. So the first one is methyl red test. Uh, we detect the presence again of glucose metabolic byproducts via the mixed acid. Ayan. mixed acid because again it contains a lot of acids, lactic, acetic, formic, and succinic fermentation pathway. But again, mixed acid fermentation pathway. It's the methyl red test. Okay. So again, reagent is methyl red. Wag na mag-isep na sa pangalan. Okay. So principle glucose. So if the bacteria utilizes glucose, um, it will result to pyruvate and other mixed acids kanisila. Okay. And muni siya ang detect sa imuhang methyl red. So since there are still acids, it changes the methyl red from red to 
uh, from, from, from yellow pala to red. Okay, so ang positive result ni mo is red. Ayan, so positive is red, negative is yellow. Okay, ayan, that's for the methyl red test. It detects um, the glucose byproducts via the what pathway? The mixed acid fermentation pathway. Okay, and we have also what we call the vogue proskauer test or VP test. Now, it's still the same. We detect the byproducts of glucose, but uh, those byproducts that are produced by the different pathway known as the um, butylene glycol pathway, butylene glycol or butane diol pathway. Ayan. Butane diol or butylene glycol pathway. So what do we detect? Acetoene or acetylmethylcarbinol. Acetoin or acetylmethylcarbinol. Please take note. Muna yung detect sa yung VP test. Ang sa reagent, 40% KOH and 5% alpha naphthol. Okay. Alright. So, <clears throat> again, medyo feel na ako karoon makayungunod. Daghan ng reagents? Yes. Do I have to memorize? Yes. <laughs> okay. Alright. Kailangan siya siyang ma-familiarize with you guys. It's really important. Okay? But I would understand as early, uh, if karoon pa medyo maglisod, it's okay. Inanap ko sa third year. Don't worry. Okay? But again, just try to uh, study slowly. Okay? And repeat, repeat, ragid, repeat. Okay? Because repetition is learning, always. Okay, alright. So again, at a reagent, 40% KOH, potassium hydroxide, and 5% alpha naphthol. Because again, glucose, alright, um, in this pathway, uh, releases pyruvate and acetoine. Okay, so ang pyruvate is further broken down into acetoin, and acetoin uh, becomes diacetyl plus KOH plus the alpha naphthol. Still the same, the color is, uh, resulting color is color red. Red complex. So therefore, atong positive, it's still color red. Okay, all right. That's the MR. Usually combined as like MRVP. Okay, MRVP test, the methyl red and vogue proskauer test. Again, they have the same uh, result, na positive, which is color red, and negative is yellow. But ang difference lang is the reagents and the pathway na gina detect. Okay, so for me uh, for methyl red is the mixed acid pathway. You detect mixed acids. Okay, for um, VP or the vogue vogue proskauer, you detect um, the butylene glycol or butane diol pathway and you detect the byproduct acetoine or acetoin or acetylmethylcarbinol. Okay? Alright. Now, where do this factor kanina mga test? I joke, napadi eh. You have the uh, VP positive na mga organisms. We have Klebsiella, Enterobacter, Seracea, and Hafnia. Wala na, wala apil. So again, atong mnemonics for VP positive, we have Kesh. So, mga VP-positive organisms, we have cash. Okay. Now, ang relation sa MRVP, guys, usually, MRVP, they are opposite each other. Okay? Um, if, the organisms is, if the organisms are VP-positive, opposite man, so therefore, they are MR-negative. And vice versa, if MR-neg siya, then VP-positive. So therefore, makabalo na kadaan na kanin silang VP-positive, mupuni lang ang MR-negative. Gets? And kung kinsapun mga VP-negative, siya po MR positive. So, katong wala na mention here, mutoy MR positive. Diba? So, inanara siya pag remember. Again, opposite ang reactions usually sa MR and VP sa each organism. Okay? On say relationship between the MR and VP reactions, opposite. Okay. So, kung positive kag VP, negative na kag MR. Pero if positive kag MR, negative kag VP. Inana. Gets? Okay. So, easy na lang. So, ang VP positive na to is Kesh. Okay. So, Klebsiella, Enterobacter, Seracea, and Hafnia. So, does this mean that Kani sila po ang MR negative? Yes. So, kinsa to mga MR positive? Every, everyone outside of cash. Okay, gets? Alright. Ayan. Okay. Uh, now, we go now to the last, uh, last, uh, to the next um, test, you know, known as your citrate utilization. Okay, by the name itself, we detect the um, organism. Okay, ability of the organism to utilize citrate as the sole carbon source and inorganic ammonium salts as the nitrogen source. So basically, as a source of carbon, ba ang citrate or nitrogen, uh, ammonium salts as a source of nitrogen. So ang atong uh, pH indicator is bromothymol blue. The principle is again citrate in the presence of the enzyme citrate permease. It becomes pyruvate. Okay, and ammonium phosphate, which is included in the medium, um, broken down to ammonia and ammonium hydroxide, which now changes okay, the bromothymol blue to Prussian blue. Ayan, really, this is really a great color, guys. I love this color sa citrate. Promise. Nice kasi siya pagka blue. As in Prussian blue color. Ayan. So, here's an example. Ayan. So, as ang positive ana is, of course, the Prussian blue. Okay? And the negative is kaning uninoculated or 
green. Ang, ang citrate tube is itself uh, green siya. Okay? If wala ay uh, gi-inoculate. But if negative po, it remains color green. So sure of course. Ah, yes naman. Okay. But again guys, one of the most favorite colors na ko sa Bactepol, kaning blue and green. Kaya nice kayo siya pagka blue. Prussian blue color. Okay? So again, positive natin for citrate, Prussian blue color. Okay? Alright. Ayan. So kinsa itong mga citrate um, positive na organisms we have? Providentia, Salmonella, Hafnia, Enterobacter, Citrobacter na sa pangalan na Citro, Citrate, okay? And of course, Klebsiella. So, unsa itong mnemonic, ana? Pro-Shek. Ah, diba? Pro-Shek. Diga na kayo kung mnemonics, gihatag ha, very kakainis. Star joke lang. Pro-Shek. Providentia, Salmonella, Hafnia, Enterobacter, Citrobacter, and Klebsiella. Very, very um, important yun. Actually, Karakteristik na na sa Klebsiella, guys. Kanang Klebsiella, it's really known to be citrate positive. Okay? So, makakita ka, okay, lactose fermenter, rapid lactose fermenter, mucoid colonies, pag yun, citrate positive, then it could really be Klebsiella. Diba? Ayan. So, again, Prosec. Citrate positive, Prosec. Okay. Providentia, Salmonella, Hafnia, Enterobacter, uh, Citrobacter, and Klebsiella. And please take note, ang Hafnia, guys, according to Mayhon, Hafnia, uh, na asya yung karakteristik na uh, delayed, okay? Delayed. Citrate reaction. Okay? Ayan. Hafnia. Hafnia. Okay. Hafnia. So, like, delete whole. Half lang niya. Charot lang. Okay, alright. Again, characteristic delayed citrate positive reaction, it's hafnia. According to Mayhon yan. Okay, alright. Okay. Ayan. So, now, uh, where do these factor in? Okay. Um, it's now, we factor in, or like, asa siya important katong previous tests na to. Uh, we use these uh, aforementioned tests to determine their MVIC results. Because again, usually uh, to determine organism for enterobacteriazi, we usually uh, base or it's part ang ilahang MVIC. Oh my gosh. Ilahang MVIC, MVIC results. Okay. So again, ang sa MVIC, indole, MR, VP, uh, wala na ng I, C is citrate. Okay? Alright. Please take note. Indole, MRVP, citrate. Okay. Ang I, kay Murag, ibutang na siya para Murag, ma-pronouncing mo siya as imbic. Pero wala siya yung meaning. Okay? Murag siya filler. Okay? So again, imbic. Im imbic. Imbic. Okay? Indole, MRVP, uh, citrate. Okay. So again, please take note. Ayan. Very characteristic. E. coli good. Plus, plus, minus, minus. Um, are you required to memorize all of this? No. Na memorize mo na tan answer, wala. <laughs> um, pero lumalabas mo to sa boards? Yes. Okay. Yes na yes. Amo ang board exams ang nigawas ra gani is unsay MVIC profile sa E. coli. Um, plus plus minus minus. Always take note. Siguro ako na lang ma-advise for MVIC kanina results. Always ay familiarize na lang ang MVIC ni E. coli. Because ang sunod ana is si E. coli, ang MVIC ni Klebsiella Enterobacter opposite ni E. coli which is minus minus plus plus. Okay, alright. Ayan, so opposite na na siya. Okay, as you can see, di ba? Kung kung siyang MR, opposite iyahang VP, di ba? Kung positive siya, negative. Kung negative, positive. Kung positive, negative. Di ba? Kung positive, negative. Remember? Okay, alright. Ayan. So, um, okay, alright. So, muna siya, guys. Um, do you have to memorize again? No, but katun lang ka ikolay. Ka ikolay na lang. Uh, play safe na lang ta. Ikolay and Kleb. Basta kung sa imbic ni E. coli, opposite siya sa imbic ni Kleb o Enterobacter. So, negative, negative, uh, plus, plus, minus, minus ang ka E. coli. Opposite ana ang ka Kleb Shella and Enterobacter. Negative, negative, plus, plus. Okay? Alright. Ayan. So, again, nigawas niya sa mong boards. May gani, thankfully, kay E. coli rin nigawas. Okay? Alright. Now, again, this imbic uh, profiling, guys, is usually, again, parang a summary na po or para a guide also to identify the organisms of your enterobacteriazi, okay, the MVIC profile. But again, the, there are cases ng MVIC profiling kay dili enough, so you have to perform katong other tests pag yun, okay? Alright, so, uh, so yeah, mura na siya. Again, so please take note, ayan, so E. coli, okay, so again, plus, plus, minus, minus. Klebsiella pneumonia and Klebsiella oxytoca. As you can see, medyo same, same sila o uh, result. Now, variable na siya sa MR, but if you are to ask, if you are to be asked, what is the test that could uh, differentiate Kleb pneumonia from Kleb oxytoca? It's indole. Please take note because again, indole ang maka-differentiate sa oxytoca and pneumonia. Kinsay positive ang 
oxytoca. How do I remember na lang? Na yung letter T ang oxytoca. So, mara positive. Di ba? Okay. So, it's the one positive sa indole. So, again, unsa na test ang maka-differentiate between Kleb pneumonia and Kleb oxytoca? It's indole. Wala nang iba. Indole. Okay. Alright. Next one. Um, Proteus. Ayan, for Proteus. Still the same. Proteus mirabilis and Proteus vulgaris. Okay. As you can see, Proteus mirabilis, quite the same reaction with Proteus uh, vulgaris. Wala, wala nag-level nag ako ang table. Okay, alright. So, again, Proteus mirabilis kani and yeah, Proteus vulgaris, as you can see. Unsay, um, ah, kanide. Proteus mirabilis and again, Proteus vulgaris. Again, unsay, test to differentiate Proteus vulgaris from Proteus mirabilis. It's indole pa rin. Indole. So, kinsay positive niya? Vulgaris. How do I remember? Vulgar kayo siya. Munang na positive siya indole. Vulgar kayo. Like, sige kang chika or sige kang tabi. Vulgar kayo yung mong language. Munang ni positive kag indole. Okay, so again, Proteus mirabilis versus Proteus vulgaris. Kinsay positive sa indole? Proteus vulgaris. Because you're too vulgar. Vulgar ka ayos siya. Okay? Alright. And again, unsa na test ang mo differentiate between the two? Proteus vulgaris. Ah, Proteus vulgaris. Unsa na test? Indole. Okay? Alright, indole. Okay. Next. Alright, as you can see, Providential Red Gary and Prof Providential Stuart T, quite the same in Vic, na nasa test later to differentiate later. Okay, and Edward siya latarda, as you can see, plus, plus, minus, minus, same pag yun sila sa equal life, plus, plus, minus, minus. Now, how do you differentiate? Remember, Edward siya is non-lactose fermenter. Non-lactose. So, of course, sa colonies balandaan sa Maconkey, it's colorless. And, remember, spaced. So, mo-produce siya H2S. So, ang E. coli, dili. Alright. So, those are the tests to differentiate. Ayan. Okay? Nag-gets rin nyo ang murag uh, atong way on how to identify these organisms. We go for tests. Good. Na medyo ka ng specific nila that could really identify them. Inana ba? Okay? Alright. So, that's for MVIC uh, test. Okay. Alright. So, for the next um, part of the video, uh, we'll now go to TSI. And one of, again, the defining or... One of the important tests for, for Enterobacteriazi. Okay, so again, I know medyo TMI siguro as, uh, for, uh, as of now. Uh, it will get more TMI pag yun. <laughs> but again, you're almost there. We're almost done with this presentation. So just, you know, laban lang jud, Kapit ka lang. Okay, kaya yan. Alright? Okay.